Hello, I'm Anne Marie Howard, and welcome to the Dennis Kucinich for President campaign update for Monday, December 31st, 2007. With New Hampshire's first in the nation Democratic primary just eight days away, Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich eagerly returned to campaigning in the Granite State last Thursday. Tonight, Kucinich and his wife Elizabeth will be ringing in the new year with supporters and special musical guests at a campaign benefit concert in Manchester. The Resolution for Peace Party begins at 9 p.m. Eastern Time and will be televised live locally on Manchester's TV 23 and nationally on the web at KucinichTV.com. The Kucinich campaign took its message to California recently with a Peace Train Whistle Stop Tour. The three-day tour kicked off in San Francisco on Friday, December 21st, with gatherings at stations all along the California coast. On Sunday, December 23rd, the Peace Train rolled into Union Station in Los Angeles. This train is about the glory of this train. This train is about the glory of this train. <laughs> 16 years of Clinton's, 12 years of Bush, I mean, that's what we're looking at, frankly. We're looking at 28 years of two dynasties running our nation. We can do better as a people. Dennis Kucinich, yes. We believe that the best candidate to change the course of this country's disastrous spiral downward is Dennis Kucinich. This is the man who should be the next president of the United States. The message of strength through peace we need Dennis Kucinich, thank you. That is what Dennis Kucinich brings to us, the opportunity to vote without compromising. We're not to choose the people who we think are supposed to win, who we are told have the best chance. We're to choose the people who reflect our compassion, our dreams, our desires, and our welfare. The tour concluded that Sunday evening with a holiday Peace on Earth celebration in Oceanside. For a more comprehensive report from the Peace Train, log on to the Kucinich for President website at dennisforpresident.com. That's Dennis, the number four, president.com. We now look to insights from video blogger and weekly update commentator Davis Fleetwood. The new year is traditionally a time to reflect on the past and plan for the future. I hope that all of you can keep your resolutions this year to lose that 10 pounds, spend more time with your family, and hike Mount Kilimanjaro. But as 2008 is a presidential election year, let's all stop and pause to think what we can resolve to do as citizens, as voters. Many people tell me that they want to see the Patriot Act, the Military Commissions Act, and other assaults on the Constitution repealed. That they want to wake up from the nightmare of living in an America that uses war as an instrument of policy. That they want to live in an America that joins the rest of the developed world by providing free health care for all of its citizens and that they want to see America's moral authority in the world restored. But in the next breath, these same people tell me that they plan to vote for Clinton, Edwards, or Obama, the CEOs of the Democratic Party. People, that's like making a New Year's resolution to lose 10 pounds and then choosing between banana cream pie, layers of love brownies, or crockenbush for dessert. You're just not going to keep your resolution that way. What if you resolved in 2008 to make this presidential election about you? Vote for the change that you want to see in the world. So in 2008, ring out the old, ring in the new. Goodbye Patriot Act, goodbye wars, ring out the false, ring in the true. Happy New Year, America. Let our old acquaintance with war as an instrument of policy and with the executive branch assaulting the Constitution, be forgot. Momentum continues to build behind the Kucinich campaign nationally, as last week found the congressman the winner of yet another major online poll. A poll conducted by the Democratic Party of Virginia between December 20th and 23rd asked voters if the state primary were held today, which Democratic candidate would you vote for? Of the nearly 7,000 people participating in the poll, the majority chose Dennis Kucinich to be their presidential candidate, surpassing the second place choice, Clinton, by 3%. In recent weeks, Kucinich has been victorious in poll after poll of potential presidential hopefuls. He has been chosen the winner in polls conducted by Democracy for America, Progressive Democrats of America, and The Nation magazine, and was the landslide winner in the poll held by IndependentPrimary.com, receiving more than half of the total votes cast and nearly 77% of votes amongst Democratic candidates. 
To share with us his New Year's resolutions, we have special guest Rick Overton. Thanks, Anne Marie. Happy New Year. You know what, guys? I've decided to make a New Year's resolution that reflects not only my needs, but the needs of this entire nation, because America has got to go on a diet. Because without a universal, single-payer health care plan that is not for profit, the only thing keeping us trim is our caving economy. we got to get out of debt. We're borrowing money from China and the Saudis to fund this furnace of a war in Iraq. We are wasting $720 million per day when there are people right here needlessly suffering on our own streets. Dennis promises to have our troops home in three months, guys. Everyone else says that they'll bring them home, oh, sometime after the end of the Mayan calendar. Well, today, it's time to stop electing liars. 2008 is the year we reduce our stress. We have turned Iraq into a terrorist factory. Some people still think that global warming is a myth. The administration thinks that recycling means using the Constitution for toilet paper. You know what? Your average citizen could get a little stressed out. But let me tell you something. The best antidepressant that there ever was is Dennis Kucinich. He's the only one that gives me hope. 2008 is the year we can start building a peaceful world based on cooperation and dialogue, a world where war only exists in history books, social justice is practiced, and we become responsible parents to an entire generation. Come on, even a bobcat knows enough to pull its cubs out of a forest fire. Join us as we take a moment and hear directly from just a few of the countless progressive luminaries and everyday people supporting Dennis Kucinich on his path to the presidency. Dennis Kucinich offers us a very singular opportunity as we share this minute of time on earth. He's been the dominant voice of integrity on issues of trade, labor, education, environment, health, civil liberties, and the one endlessly determined voice of peace. Dennis has a clean, clear voice that gives us hope. And he has no uh, ties to any big business. The only strings that are attached to him are his heart strings. Dennis is, is a candidate who has, who has the interests of the whole planet in mind. And Dennis speaks to the issues better than anybody that I've, I've heard. There's only one platform you can follow if it's humanity, and that's Kucinich. We can turn many, many things around, and it won't be too late. We just have a small window of opportunity in which we must do this. And that's why Dennis is the man for this moment. Thank you for joining us on our New Year's Eve edition of the Kucinich Weekly Update. For campaign information updated daily, log on to dennisforpresident.com. Have a happy and progressive 2008. <laughs>